So let's look at some basic examination uh, maneuvers for ankle dorsiflexion. So we'll have our patient try to pull their balls of their feet upward and shift their weight back and forth on their heels. So you're going to try to lift the balls of your feet up okay, and shift weight back and forth. And if it's pretty clear that a patient's unable to dorsiflexion, in this case on the right ankle, let's apply some examination maneuvers, which again can tell us a little bit about whether or not that's a weakness impairment, a pain impairment, or a stiffness impairment uh, affecting her ability to fully dorsiflex the right ankle. So bring your feet back down fully onto the ground, and let's have you do just a little squatting motion like that. Now, if the patient's not able to dorsiflex, if the heel comes off the ground, okay, we could have some passive limitation of dorsiflexion. If she come back up again and squat, if you see the patient shift weight off to the side, if they don't want to dorsiflex, that could indicate a pain impairment okay, by weight shifting away from the involved ankle. So let's do a couple simple examination maneuvers that'll save us some time, keep the patient in the same basic position. If you could flex your knee up, I'll do just a little bit of further testing. Okay. With the knee flexed, we bring the talocural joint up close to us. I'll bring my hand here onto the medial plantar surface of the foot, and I want you to try to make this motion as well as you can now. So make that a couple times for me. Again, that's called dorsiflexion. Okay. I want you to make that movement. I want you to hold it there. Okay and I deliver an overpressure, and we see if that causes discomfort. If it does, clarify. Intensity, location, character of discomfort. Okay. If it doesn't, let's just test the end feel. Is there any capsular shortening limiting the patient's ability to dorsiflex? So we're looking for a firm, early end feel. Okay. And the other thing that we can do very simply in this position is Actively dorsiflex again. Okay, now I'm going to test the strength of your pretibial muscles. Okay, hold now. Don't let me move you. And we can get an initial assessment as to whether or not there might be a muscular strength impairment affecting what we initially saw in terms of her inability to dorsiflex. Remember, there's a lot of other examination positions that we can do these same tests in, both overpressure and feel. And of course, this video clip is not showing uh, joint play testing at this point in time.